On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just represent it right. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right, y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what a go on. A blessed and wonderful Saturday morning to each and every person out there tuning into on the spot news media. Now, my peeps, I don't know how we do it over on this side each and every morning. We have to give thanks and praise to the Most High Creator for the preservation of life because life is indeed the greatest. So, in the morning, my peeps, I have a few stories for share with you, the regular members of Chan Public, and also members of the diaspora. So, please like the video, share the video, watch the entire vlog so you can get a full understanding and a better appreciation of everything we are going in Jamaica. So watch this now my peeps uh, to the name uh, Saturday the day when some of the regular ones and ones them out there traverse the church. So while uh, doing so my peeps please remember on the spot news media it's loyal viewers and subscribers in your immediate prayers. You definitely see how Jamaica run right and how so you know for sure. So we need that now more than ever. And to all of the regular ones and ones them out there traversing the streets, whether you're going about your regular business or just going to the market district, you don't know if you get a little onion, skelly and your pepper, your thyme. You don't know if you spice up the soup pot later or if you make sure say the red rice and roaster day are well covered. Whilst you're out there in the streets, you don't know, safe travel, pan the gravel, continuously look out on a corner of your Kaswa, the old dirty corner boy them, always out there. Alerts, yeah man. So now the morning I'm a peeps we are gonna kick it off with some updates from yesterday morning's story. So the first update. The knockings and clappings that uh, took place on Wednesday night, that's the 3rd of April, last Wednesday, at the AC bar in uh, Shantytown Lane, Williamsfield District in Silo, St. Elizabeth, where this 20-year-old uh, uh, female, Carisha R. Scott, a bartender at the AC bar, life was taken when uh, criminal elements targeted and also took the life of this criminal element uh, presently on your screen identified as 37 year old Dana Morgan otherwise known as Little D in the streets. No persons are saying that they don't understand why them come clap with Little D in such a fashion but you the regular members of Chan Public from especially the shantytown lane would have understood why somebody would have tried to slap with little d in such a fashion little d is a known old dirty kind of boy in the area he's known for scam people out of their monies he's known to have taken monies from a persons to get them cars and took the money for his own benefit He's also known to have swindled many young youths in the community out of their monies and stating that he could get them motorbikes on a cheap price. He's known to be threatening the regular members of Chan Public as he parades around in his markets before it crash or his motorbike and showing off his heavy artillery and his waistband. So he is a known old coot in the place. He's also known to be importing criminal elements from uh, the Mobi and the Westmoreland space. So more and the regular ones and ones them were tuning in to one spot news media who is living in the general Williams field, but especially in a shantytown lane area. They put this pan blast, turn up on a speaker. So the importee them will live in a shantytown lane and surrounding and adjoining communities can hear the voice of Andy Spot News Media. So we know say on a there on there. I am already labeled as an informer and a proud one, I must say. So me I make on know say Andy Spot News Media already informed to the authorities. Say uno de round there. Yeah man. A time for uno lift up out of the people them 
peaceful rural community that never know them type of dirty lifestyle yeah, until Uno was imported in these communities by some of its own community members. So to the elders and the well-thinking young persons, please link up the squad of them anytime Uno see any strange face man in our own community. And once you see some strange face man in the place, just look closely who you see them close with where come from the area and make the squad of them know so them can hunt them and make them have to lift up out of the place or capture them and go lock them down somewhere. Because you just may be harboring one of Mobays or Westmoreland, Kingston, St. Andrew or wherever they may come from and reside in, in your community. You just may be harboring a ruthless killer. Yeah man. And it's just a matter of time before their hands are placed on you. And still in uh, the silo community in the parish of St. Elizabeth. So in yesterday morning's vlog, I made mention of a murder that took place in that particular police division. That's the St. Elizabeth Police Division on Monday. Now, the man that lost his life is said to be this man presently on your screen identified as 23-year-old Franco Vassal. Said to be a farmer of Roses Valley District in the parish of St. Elizabeth. Now he had a verbal turn physical altercation with his 24 year old spouse identified as Amanda Stewart, also of a Roses Valley district address. Reports suggest that they both had a verbal turn physical altercation sometime around 2.30 a.m. to 3 a.m. where the female's mother, that's Amanda Stewart's mother, identified as 43-year-old Lisa Muir, also of a Roses Valley address, intervened in the verbal turn physical altercation with the couple. It is said that the mother reportedly joined the altercation armed with a machete. Vassal sustained multiple chop-chop-up wounds all over the upper body and he was taken to the hospital where he succumbed to his injuries. So both women, mother and daughter, that's 24-year-old Amanda Stewart and her 43-year-old mother, Lisa Muir, were both arrested and charged by the police for the offence of murder. Poor me, I tell my peeps. The thing rough, their court dates are now being finalised. Now my question to you all is, was it really worth it? I really don't think so. We need to find more amicable means to work out our domestic differences. If the situation now work out, somebody, the man or the woman, need to be the bigger person and walk away. We need to start looking at the bigger picture and start living life and do so more abundantly. Yeah, man. So anyway, make we continue. Now, let me give you an update again from in yesterday morning's vlog where I made mention of two rifles being seized in the troubled war-torn era of Mount Salem in St. James. The police sees these two rifles presently on your screen and one man was taken into custody in connection with this magnificent find. Now in yesterday morning's vlog I played this particular video clipping presently on your screen of this man in a shop parading around with one of the exact rifles that the police and military found. I also stated in yesterday morning's vlog that he was the person that was arrested and charged by the police. But I was wrong. 
it was not this criminal element that was taken in by the police but this criminal element here presently on your screen identified as andino burnett but more popularly known in the streets as dino or grim now both criminal elements are brothers as you can clearly see the distinct resemblance but they are both criminal elements yeah man may i tell you so this one individual is still at large and needs to be taken off the streets by the police boy the mother there really really sad two boy pitney and the two of them turn cruff boy the thing rough now these criminal elements here them are top knackies and clappies for the broken lead kdf gang out of mount salem now them in a war with another set of criminal elements known as five have featured those criminal elements on this channel before we are talking about grisman chip dan one dan the five man them yeah man so basically my peeps the five man them team up with the corners man them from crawford street and uh, the both of them start linking you now and i take it wicked to the kdf man them so one dan five we all know say a uh, him run the five gang and him also basically is a top tier member of the Kana gang which is run by Shartman. I covered many vlogs and Shartman also in the past for those who remember. Now this ongoing gang warrior now go stop. Regardless of the fact that police take two strap half of the street for the KDF man them. Remember, you know, say before the big head brother, the dog head, or way more name, drop out. Him did shipping a portion to strap for them. I also covered that vlog. So these two particular weapons is two out of the arsenal. Yeah, man. So anyway, make we continue. Now, make we talk about the infamous 1214. Said to be the leader of the infamous 1452 gang that is presently having an ongoing gang war with the 5150 gang. 1214, whose birth name is Duane Minto, is presently behind bars as he was arrested and charged at the Norman Manley International Airport on Tuesday. Yeah, man. I uh, yesterday, me all a reasoning on the same channel yeah, with you, the regular members of Chan Public, about this old dirty kind of boy yeah, known as 1214, as he was seen parading around at JT's Nine Night a few nights ago. So I guess just after he was spotted, him decide to flee the island using a fake passport and was caught by the cops at the Norman Manley International Airport. Now, 2014, I'm pretty sure at some point in time you will tune in to this particular vlog. And I'm pretty sure your mother, your Krasmite mama, I listen to this vlog right now. I know she got cuss, but mm, care zero as always. For them cuss cuss, no wall, no wait, because you know, the devil's advocate, all I know, we say 1214. So for no cuss cuss, no carry, no farm my wait. So do we in Minto, aka 1214, you say a particular line. In a Tony Rebel song, if Ja was standing by my side, those specific words, if those words were a person, I would say it would have to be you because you are one of the luckiest man 
ever multiple attempts have been made on 2014's life. Multiple attempts have been made by the security forces to arrest and charge 2014 again. 2014 is out on bail for not just one thing, but more than one. He's out on bail for the knockings and clappings that took the life of Vernon Boswell, a record driver from St. James, who was popularly known as Punch in the streets. He took Vernon Boswell's life along the Sun Valley Road in June of 2021. 2014 was also on bail for scamming charges in St. Catherine where he was caught in a gated community in St. Catherine by the police and placed before the courts and he was also granted bail by your honor. Now on Tuesday, he was caught at the Norman Manley International Airport using a fake passport bearing the name of Tevin Anthony Hardin. Now, the passport is clearly not 2014's passport because Tevin Anthony Hardin is not his name nor the date of birth that says 1994 as 2014 was born in 2000. So 2014 is way younger than the name presented in the passport. So 2014 had his flights booked for Dominican Republic, then to Panama, then to Belize, then him working way through the Mexican border from there. However, Officers did due diligence and he was arrested and charged for the offences of uttering forged documents and conspiracy to commit forgery among other charges. He will be heading to the Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Court on Tuesday, April 9th to answer to those charges. Now the question is, my friends, will 2014 be granted bail again? You see, the Bail Act in Jamaica, it was crafted to suit the persons who actually made the laws themselves. So they left all these loopholes in it just in case one of them or one of their elite friends fall into certain activities the wrong side of the law so to speak so them leave the loophole so that them can squeeze through it and the fact that the loopholes are there it trickle down so everybody can basically squeeze through it because sad to say no my peeps most judges don't care really what you were previously charged for and on bail for all they are dealing with is what is presently before them they will not even entertain the fact that you are on bail for your murder and you have absconded that bail and presently attempting to flee the island all they will be dealing with is the issue at hand presently before them so let's wait to see if on tuesday april 9th if 2014 will be granted bail again. Poor me, I tell my peeps. The system, rough. And still in the parish of St. James, a construction worker get can up and seriously wounded. Now, the police in St. James is presently investigating the can up can of a man who was hospitalized on Friday morning after he was attacked and can up at a construction site in Mobile St. James. Investigators state that sometime around 10 a.m., 
the victim, a construction worker of a Hanover address, was carrying out work at a location along Queens Drive when he was attacked by two armed men. He was canned up multiple times by the criminal elements and he was rushed to the hospital by other workers on site. The police are trying to establish a motive for that knockings and clappings. Poor me, I tell my peeps. The thing rough and still in the troubled, war-torn, crime-riddled St. James Police Division. I want to look carefully upon the screen. This old dirty kind of boy was the main trigger man in the knockings and clappings of another dirty kind of boy from Valley Heights over there in a flower hill known as Jellyman. Yeah, man. This criminal element here, clap can, pan Jellyman, leaving him lifeless. He's a known contract knackis and clappis that goes by the name of Gio in the criminal underworld. Now he is a top lieutenant, a top knackis and clappis in the infamous Libyan gang from out of flankers. And for those who have been tuning into on the spot news media over the years would have known that I've covered many vlogs on the infamous Libyan gang from out of Flanka. He also have a strong connection with the Bloods gang. So he is indeed a tap knackis and clappis for Jimbo and the Libyans. Yeah, man. Now, he's also a contract knackis and clappis, as I stated earlier. Now, he took the contract from Scrappy. And you know, say Scrappy, a him, same a run off the Valley Heights gang from over there in Flower Hill. So this criminal element here is presently wanted by the police. So make no jokes. He is supposed to be considered arm and dangerous. So when you see him, unless you are a license for him older, or you're a member of the police or the military, approach with caution. And even if you are, still approach with caution. Because him know that he's not only wanted by the police, but also by his criminal rivals and also the new rivals that he has garnered from taking the life of Jellyman. So I'm always trapped and ready and waiting. So link up the squad of them if you don't see him in the streets. Because this criminal element here, you know, don't want him nowhere near you know, at all. Because as I've stated in you know, my peeps, and I just the squad of them want him. And if the other criminal elements them come for him and you're in close proximity, you too will also be laying lifeless right beside him. Yeah, man. So the last thing that we're going to talk about in you know, the morning, you know, my peeps, is a fatal knockings and clappings that took place over there in the troubled, war torn, crime riddled Kingston Western Police Division. Sometime close to midnight last night, poor may I tell you, the continued bloodletting. Now, uh, this man uh, presently on your screen, uh, said to be identified as Mario, said to be from the community of Havana in the Kingston Western Police Division, was brutally slaughtered in the streets last night by criminal elements. Now, residents are definitely feeling rather distraughted this morning about this knockings and clappings as it is widely stated that Mario was a beloved member of the Havana community. Not just the Havana community, but the top jungle community also and surrounding areas in the Kingston Western Police Division as Mario was seen as a peacemaker, one who always seek to uplift the minds of the young men and women of the community. But all lips 
are sealed as always. No one is saying much of anything. No one want to be labeled as the quote-unquote informer. But Mario is laying on a block of ice. And if you, the residents of Havana, feels this strongly about Mario, I suggest that you honor the good name that you have given unto him and say something. It is just really heartbreaking. Definitely not surprised. But Mario, if you are really this good person, as everyone portray you to be, sad to say, no one will protest in your honor. Your life will just be lost in vain. But residents of Havana prove on the spot news media wrong and point the police in the right direction. If this man is such a great community member as Uno paint him as Hannah is name by granting him this one last wish before Uno put him six feet under and make the police them know who and why his life was taken. Yeah man but on the spot news media will most definitely be making his own checks surrounding the knockings and clappings of Mario and seek to understand the personality really of the now deceased man to see if he is really what the residents of the Havana community make him out to be. So you, the regular members of Chan Public, stay tuned because you will be updated in a subsequent newscast. So anyway, my peeps, remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned to On The Spot News Media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in a subsequent newscast. On The Spot News Media. Yeah, man.